All right, so about two weeks ago, the country woke up, or the continent woke up to the reports of xenophobic attacks in South Africa. Now, the story behind that is that residents or indigents of South Africa are saying that other countries on the continent whose residents have come to the uh, South African country, city of Durban, have taken their jobs and have taken their employments that they are entitled to. Because of that, quite a number of people have been killed in very gruesome ways. And today, the South African ambassador to Ghana, the High Commissioner to Ghana, is addressing the Ghanaian media to tell the country how they are gearing up to ending the xenophobic attacks. And my colleague, um, uh, my colleague has Nakwa Kwabla, has been sitting through that press conference. But before that, here are excerpts of what the High Commissioner has been saying. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to just clear a few misrepresentations uh, to say that um, there have been reports in the media uh, that uh, Ghanaians have died in South Africa because of these violence. Uh, we have been communicating with the Minister of Police in South Africa, communicating with the uh, police, the generals that are deployed in the areas where there has been uh, these attacks. All of them have confirmed to us that no Ghanaian citizen has died because of the xenophobic attacks in South Africa. One Ghanaian Emmanuel Koko died on the 7th of April in Durban. He was an epileptic patient. He had an attack in the streets of Kwamashu in Durban and died. Uh, he was taken to hospital and a post-mortem report stated that he died of natural causes. We have also had reports of four Ghanaians that died in Hebron. Uh, again, the South African High Commission, the High Commission, Ghanaian High Commission in South Africa, and the police have confirmed that there have been no xenophobic attacks in that area. It is a currently being investigated the cause of death but again it has clearly been declared that it was not from xenophobic attacks on behalf of the south african government we condemn nonetheless in the strongest possible terms the recent outbreak of violent attacks in parts of the country against foreign nationals particularly fellow Africans from various countries on the continent. South Africa's transition to democracy was one of the world's most iconic testimonies of tolerance and peaceful coexistence. Under the stewardship of the father of the democratic South Africa, Nelson Mandela, the country undertook an unwavering dedication to democracy, human rights, selflessness, reconciliation, service to humanity, and a better life for all. The South African government views the attacks on foreign nationals as a criminal offense that will not be tolerated. South Africa is a constitutional democracy governed by laws. Everyone working and living in the country must ab obey its laws in their totality. No one has the right to take the law into their own hands. The South African government will enforce the laws of the country and will not hesitate to act against criminal activity or against those found to incite violence. The South African government will also do everything in its power to ensure the safety of all citizens and foreign nationals, irrespective of their status. 
Similarly, foreign nationals must meet all the legislative and regulatory requirements as prescribed by our immigration laws. South Africa is a diverse society that welcomes and promotes interaction among people of different backgrounds. As such, nothing can justify the criminal activity and intolerance that these attacks represent. Solutions can be reached through constructive engagement and by working together. South Africa is a signatory to various international obligations that protect foreign nationals and refugees, including the Geneva Protocol on Refugees. As a signatory to this protocol and as a country that cherishes human rights, we have to protect the basic rights of every human being within our borders, including foreign nationals. South Africa, therefore, adheres to various United Nations and African Union conventions and protocols relating to the status of refugees. As a country that cherishes human rights, we have to protect the basic rights of every human being within our borders. South Africa. All right, so those are excerpts of the press conference being organized by the South African High Commissioner to Ghana, Lu Lama Zingwana. And uh, she was reiterating the fact that the, so far, five Ghanaians have been found dead in South Africa. One died on the 7th of April, that is Emmanuel Kwaku, and he is or was an epileptic patient, which they are saying that caused his death and not out of the xenophobic attacks. Secondly, the four people who were found dead over the weekend um, were, were found in a saloon. Their bodies were found in a saloon, and it was a place called Hebron where we are told that the xenophobic attacks have not started or are not there yet. So they are speaking on authority that they were also not killed as a result of the xenophobic attacks, and that the high commission, Ghana's high commissioner to South Africa has promised to bring an autopsy report, or the doctors are looking into that and will give an aut autopsy report by close of day today. So we keep an eye on these developments and bring them to you when we have them. But my colleague Nakwa Kwabla uh, has been sitting through that press conference, which is ongoing right now in Accra, and has joined us on the line for more. Nakwa, good afternoon, and thank you very much for your time. Good afternoon, Martin. Right. Um, what else has the High Commissioner been saying regarding the fact that um, they even at least had to beef up security at their area, on their uh, residence, following the fact that there are some attacks in South Africa? Yes, Martin. Uh, before I stepped out, I asked her if that was really necessary, even though it's obvious that it was a preventive measure. But since the High Commission has been operating in a peaceful environment for several years now, was it necessary to beef up security at the High Commission? And she said that on Friday, four men actually stormed the place and threatened to ban the High Commission. So that's how come they reported to the police and the police beefed up security at the end. So she said yes, and that's not only the case, they've been receiving threats. So that's how come they have beefed up security at the place. But she again acknowledged that yes, they've been operating in a very peaceful environment in Ghana for several years now, but this is only a preventive measure, and it's something that they, they are aware of. It could happen, even though they pray that it doesn't happen. Martin. All right. And uh, thank you very much, Nakuo. We are grateful for your time. And uh, details of that press conference will be um, on our subsequent bulletins, even up until news at 10. Around that time, at least, we would have had the report of the, the autopsy report of the four Ghanaians who were found dead in South Africa and make them public.